Hi, everybody. Hey, guys. How are you today? So, Ryan has this theory that sparkling waters are really all just the same and just with different labels. So, a friend of mine at work the other day asked me, sincerely, what is your favorite flavor water? To which I responded, water. I have a theory that each one has a different scent to it. And the scent is what makes you think that it's a different flavor. I think it all tastes like dirt. I don't know if you've been to Wegmans lately, but there are at least 37,000 flavors of water. So, we thought we would do a blind taste test. Obviously, only one of us can do this taste test because the other one has to do the actual pouring and... Keeping track. Let's get started. So, I decided I'd be the one to take one for the team here. I'll be the guinea pig and try out all these flavored waters. Let's see if Ryan thinks this is an easy one to figure out or if it's a little bit more difficult. Okay, got it. Found it. So actually, uh, I'm going to say lime. I'm going to say this one's lime. Lime. Interesting. Okay, down the hatch. Candy. This tastes like candy. I'm going to say like some kind of fruit candy. Raspberry. How about that? Okay. Raspberry. Okay, go ahead and try that one. Am I allowed to smell it first? I don't see one up. I don't like the way this one smells. It smells like bananas. Tastes like bananas. Oh, is it? It's not good. It tastes like some kind of a melon. Banana melon. Quick, another one. It's vodka. Mm. <laughs> tastes like lemon water, I guess, if you put like a lemon in some water. Lemon. I don't think I want to drink this one. Why? It smells like puke. What? Yeah, it smells like vomit. So if you took a piece of chewing gum, like bubble gum flavored chewing gum, chewed it up for a few hours and spit it into a cup of water, let that sit overnight, and then drank that cup of water, that's what this tastes like. So I would have to say bubble gum. Mm, interesting. It smells a little bit like orange. I wanna say it doesn't really taste a whole lot like anything, but it smells a little like orange. All this bubble water is making me gassy. Some gas building up here. I'm definitely getting better at finding the cup with my hands. Water? I don't know. Getting the slightest hint of cherry? I want to say cherry. I can hear it raining outside. I love it. It's my favorite. Shit. Sorry. Sorry. And he said he was getting better at figuring out where the cup was. Slowly. Slowly. To your left. Careful. Careful. Sweet tarts. It kind of, kind of tastes like water. Maybe pink? Does it, is pink a flavor? Not good. It kind of tastes like somebody maybe left a small piece of Laffy Taffy in a cup of water for a couple days. And then I, I picked it up and drank it. How many of these are there? That one's lime again. Or lemon. Lemon lime? Sprite. It's like somebody spilled a little bit of Sprite in the cup of water. It smells like lifesavers. Mango? Is that a, is that a flavor? I don't know, water, mango. I'm getting full. I want to say water, water flavor. This is, um, no, this is, this may be the ginger one. Because I know there is a ginger flavor. I don't feel good. I think I've eaten too many. You got this plus five more. Five more? How many did we do? Like a million? Remember that time I tried to eat a whole watermelon? Just take a sip. You don't have to drink a lot of it. Cream soda. Cream soda flavored water. For sure. Got that one. Nailed it. A root beer, maybe. Root beer flavored water. Is that ammonia? This smells like cleaning spray. Tastes like cleaning spray. I don't know. I know I keep, I've keep. i said lemon and lime before, but I think this is another lemon, lime, or Sprite. Maybe 7-Up. One of the clear sodas. Is it sweet like 7-Up? No, I mean, it's like water with a little bit of 7-Up spilled in it. So imagine like a glass, okay? You have a glass of... 7-Up or Sprite or something like that, okay? You drink it out of there, no ice or anything like that, and you just leave a little tiny bit in the bottom. Next day, you know, that's like dried on there and stuff like that, so then you fill it with water, and that's what that tastes like. Nothing. That's just plain water. I'm assuming this isn't just plain water, otherwise you wouldn't let me just go with the answer of plain water. Yellow? Yellow of flavor? Tangerine. How about that? Clementine. I should be totally honest here. Ryan is not a big fruit fan in the first place, so this whole experiment might be lost on him. 
Excuse me. Quick cut so I can just burp a bunch. Excuse me. You can just cut that out in post, huh? This is plain. This is just water. Clove? That would make sense. Bleh. Yeah, cloves. This is your last one. Looks like we're going to make it, folks. Sugar water? Does it taste sugary? There's some flavor to it, but I can't tell what it is, so it tastes like sugar. I don't know. It's got a bad aftertaste, though. It kind of tastes like dirt a little, but like wetter. Wait, wait, I should, I just, I should register a, uh, a guess on this one. I don't know. Passion fruit. How about that? Yes. How do you think you did? I think the whole idea of flavored sparkle water is ridiculous. If I want something to taste like, you know, a leftover popsicle stick, uh, I will dip a leftover popsicle stick in water and I will drink that. <laughs> I think that's just fine. But like all this stuff already exists out there. You don't need to buy a plastic bottle of water or cans of water. It's ridiculous. What about the difference between tap water and like sparkling water though? Yes, there's definitely a difference. If I was going to have a bottled water of some sort, I'd probably go for a sparkling rather than flat, just because flat I can get out of the tap. Tap water's fine. Unless you're in like... Brazil. Mexico. Egypt. Parts of Africa. You know, places that actually can't drink the tap water, where they need bottles of water to survive. But here in the United States, we have pretty good tap water, with the exception of Flint. I mean, they've actually been studies that prove plastic water bottles contain particles of plastic in the water. So if you're drinking out of a water bottle, you're drinking plastic. I don't see how that can be more comforting to you than drinking out of a tap. And plus you're creating waste, more plastic, more bottles. Those are going to end up in the rivers and the streams and the beaches and the forests. Not good. And the deserts and it's just ugly. So anyway, we went through and tested all these flavors for you so you don't have to. They all taste the same. They taste like nothing with a little bit of something added to them. I, I would say many of them taste like something. Couldn't really tell what that something was apart from the others. I'm not impressed. I tried, guys. Well, I think we should leave it up to you. Let us know what you think. Try the experiment at home, even if it's just between two different kinds of sparkling waters. Here's a fun experiment. Go up to people you know and ask them what their favorite flavor water is. I'm guessing if they're over 30, they're going to look at you like you're some kind of maniac. Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe I'm old. Maybe I'm the old one. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking. Please comment. Please subscribe. Please share. Remember to check in on your loved ones, support local business, and wash your hands. We love you and we miss you. Bye. Bye.